issues of your sort of character, your personality, because you're asking people to vote for you to be the next uh, Prime Minister uh, of the UK. So I just want to show you this editorial. Now, this is taken from the Labour Briefing magazine back in December 1984. Were you General Secretary of the Editorial Board at that time when that was published? No, I wasn't even a member of the Editorial Board. You weren't a member of the editorial board because, no. according to Parliamentary Profiles by Andrew Roth, an authoritative... Andrew Roth has a wonderful reputation for having the most inaccurate parliamentary profiles known to anyone. So you were not a member of the editorial board of that magazine in December 1984? Categorically no. not? I read the magazine, I wrote for the magazine, I was not a member of the editorial board. OK. What it says um, in the article, just in the wake of the Brighton bombing, an attack by the IRA, of course, intended to kill Margaret Thatcher, which killed five people. The British only sit up and take notice when they are bombed into it. How does that make you feel, knowing that you wrote for that magazine? I didn't agree with it. I don't agree with that position. I've always wanted there to be peace in Ireland. I've always wanted there to be an accord. And eventually, in 1994, a um, ceasefire was agreed. That one disappeared, but the f second ceasefire came in 1997. I've always wanted there to be peace, and I really welcome the Good Friday Agreement and all the achievements that it's made since then. So why did you continue to write for that magazine, then? I wrote for the magazine on many issues uh, because it's a magazine that reaches a number of people within the Labour Party and the Labour movement. There are many things in many papers and many magazines with which I profoundly disagree. Does that mean I don't engage? There are programmes on your station that I don't really agree with. You probably don't agree with them either. Isn't that what um, open debate and journalism is about? Now, Sometimes listening to people that you don't agree with does you good.